Okay, so we're back. We've let the finish cure for a good two weeks. Sometimes I go a month, sometimes I go two weeks. But we're about two weeks, I think a little over two weeks. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is uh, start buffing and polishing. i got my trusty auto buffer here. Just a little low wattage. It's not very powerful, so it's not going to burn through the finish or anything. It's not very uh, aggressive, just enough to really get a good shine. So I'll start off with uh, just some good old-fashioned premium rubbing compound from Turtle Wax. Use that first. Wipe it all off. Get it all off. And then I'll finish here with some uh, Meguiar's Liquid Wax, which is a good polishing compound to get it real shiny. I'll show you just a little bit of that. You don't want to see it. It's a long process. It takes a long time to do. Uh, to really get it good, you got to go polish, 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 polish for a little while to really build up a shine. So we'll show you a little bit of that process. Just going to add some uh, some polish here, and then uh, we're going to start. That's all you need. Just a little dabs to start with. Rub it in. Let's see what we got here. So that's kind of the process, put it there, and then I'll take a microfiber cloth and wipe off and get her nice and shiny. So I'll show you the after in a little bit. Well, okay, we're back. We've been polishing for about 30 minutes or so. Uh, I think I'm happy with it. I know I could polish a little more, but I think, I think I'll stop. So if you remember, we already had a pretty good high gloss shine, so it wasn't much to improve on. What the rubbing compound is, which kind of removes any fine scratches or anything left over from any sandpaper or anything like that. And, uh, and then the polishing compound gets it really shiny. So here we go. Hopefully the camera so you can see that. I brought it outside. You can see we are pretty close to a mirror shine. And all done with True Oil. Like, excuse me, I'm looking at the camera right there. I have the it facing at me so we can see it. But look at that. So there we go. It's stock the same. Nice shine to it. Back of the body. Nice mirror shine. Back of the neck. Now the neck is not quite as shiny and that's intentional. I, I rubbed it down with a little uh, 3000 grit sandpaper because I like it a little more smooth there. I don't like it to be sticky but that's just a personal preference of mine. So there you go. Next up I'm going to put this bad boy together. So, stay tuned. Well, all right. It's time to start putting some parts on this bad boy. Now, there, there is no right or wrong way to where to start on this. I'm just going to start with the tuners. But you can start wherever you want. Uh, then I'm going to probably do the strap pegs, drill the holes for the control plates, and drill the holes for the, the tuners and the truss rod. It's a kind of scary process but you gotta do it just take your time I also have to drill holes obviously for the pick guard and the mounting ring for the bridge but uh, we'll get to that later uh, I'm just gonna start with the, the basic parts right now so start some tuners I'll film a little of it it's not a lot a uh, lot to see it's just a lot of a lot of drilling and uh, boring stuff so I'll film a little bit just to show you what I'm gonna basically be doing and, uh, and then I'll come back when I'm done. All right, so stay tuned. I'm just gonna kind of reposition this a little bit and, and show the kind of the process. All right, here we go. So I've got my tuners here, and I did a little test fit and saw that they're a little, they're a little snug. The, the hole isn't quite uh, wide enough, and that's likely because of all the finish that I put on the thing. So I've got to widen that a little bit, but I don't want to actually have to drill drill. So what I do is I just take, I just take a drill bit, roughly the same size, and I'm just going to lightly go in there and kind of bore that out until I can fit 
the tuner. So, and one of the things you can do is I, I do sometimes just to try to stretch out the wood is I'll use the smooth end and try to go in there. Just try to widen that tuning peg a little bit. Test it. We're getting close. There we have it. That's all you got to do. This way you don't risk scratching up your finish. You just use that. This kind of smooth end just to kind of stretch out the hole there a little bit. And now it's it's in there snug. All I got to do is line it up and screw it down. So I'm going to do that with all with all six of them here. And then I'll, I'll mask it off to try to punch out my holes where I need to drill. So not much to see there. Just a little bit of the process. So stay tuned. I'll, I'll come back when I'm done with the tuners. Well, okay, we're all done. There you go. Just got the truss rod cover on. Got the tuners installed. Took me a little while, but patience is a is a virtue. Now I'm going to start doing some other parts. Okay, let's continue some assembly. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hammer in the bridge, specifically the bridge posts here. Now this is a kind of scary process because you're worried about ruining your finish here. So what you got to do is you got to you got to hammer these posts in here. But before you do that, you got to make sure you run your ground wire. There's a little hole right there in the bridge pickup cavity that goes to this post right here. You got to run your ground wire. I already ran my ground wire in there and I've got it right here. You can see I just got it taped off so when I install the pickups later, it's right there. So, it's kind of a scary process, but but it is just like your Sam's. You're just hammering these bad boys in. Now, what do I do? If you have like a kind of a craft soft mallet hammer, those are good too to protect your finish. But uh, often what I do is I use a, I just use my towel and I kind of put it over there and just hammer carefully. So I'm going to show you the first one, and then uh, I'll do the other ones, <laughs> not recording it. So there you go. That's the first part of it. Now what I like to do is unscrew this because I don't want to mess that up. When I don't put this over my finish, I'm just kind of feel where it is. Kind of lightly start hammering it down. Doing it till it's flush. Almost there. Okay, well that's it. It's not all the way down, but I'm going to do that a little later. I'll get it down all the way. So, I'm just going to do the rest of the, the rest of the three and I'll be back. Real quick, another little trick to, to get them down flush is to use a scrap piece of wood. Put it on top there, so that way you're not hurting your finish. So, what I do is I just kind of put it on top here. and then I'll gradually hammer it down. Sometimes I'll do it like this. There we go. That one's in. Now I just gotta do that one. Same process. Okay, we got our bridge and tailpiece installed. Everything's looking good. Now we're gonna start putting some other pieces on. I gotta put my strap pins on. I gotta drill the holes for that. I have to, I gotta drill the holes for the pick guard and the pick and the bridge pickup ring. 
and drill the holes for for the jack plate. Uh, I already I did went ahead and I've already drilled the holes for the control plates. So that's the last bit of stuff I've got to do, and then I'm going to start uh, wiring her up. But uh, so that's it. So stay tuned. I'm going to try to get some stuff ready, and uh, we'll see what I'm up to next. Okay, real quick, I I put my pick guard and, and my bridge up here, but I haven't screwed them down yet. As you can see, I've just got them, got them taped down because I want to be able to align them with the strings. So I'm not going to do that to the last minute until I've got it strung up. But I just want to do this so I can wire it up and get it going. You can see I have all my wires going. All i got to do is in install the, the pots here and the, and the jack. But uh, right now, this is where we're at. We're going to wire her up very soon. Just got to get those in there. And then I'm going to wire her up and get ready to string her up and, and start playing. So we're getting really close. Just a couple more things to do. I still got to probably shave down the nut a little bit to make sure it, it fits right and all that. I haven't tested it. Uh, but that's about it. And then we'll, we'll have a playing guitar hopefully really soon. So stay tuned. We got some more to do. This is all I'm going to do today. So I'll have more. Tomorrow, I'm waiting on a new soldering iron because my iron kind of crapped out. So, uh, gonna get a new one and I'm gonna wire her up. Okay, now we're ready to wire this guy up. I got all the wires run and all that. Um, first thing I gotta do is I gotta take my bridge pickup wire and my neck pickup wire and the casing to the switch, and I gotta solder those wires up here together, the casing for my ground and then I have to solder both connectors to the switch and then come down here and sw solder the switch to the to the pot and solder my ground so it's gonna take a little while I don't want to videotape it because it's a arduous process for me um, but I will show you the work when it's done well okay we got her wired up I had to take a little pause for the cause yesterday finally got her finished up today so we got our bridge and our neck pick up both on. Everything's wired up correctly. You can see I have the two strings on here because my tape wasn't holding. So I, uh, I had to screw these things down. So I put two strings on the other so I can measure it up. And uh, I screwed the pick guard and the, the bridge pickup ring down. So now all I got to do is uh, file my nut down string her up, set her up, and play. So stay tuned for that. It's probably going to take me the uh, rest of the day to do all that. But uh, we should be ready to play guitar pretty soon. We had a nice sunny day here in South Texas and I wanted to bring the guitar outside and let you guys really see that flame catch fire. She's almost done, just got to put her strap pins on. File down our trusty nut here and string her up and set her up and then we're ready to go. So that will be coming next. Just wanted to show you the beauty of this guitar. It really came out great. I'm really excited. Can't wait to play through these pickups and see what she sounds like and, and plays like. So so that's the end of, of part two. The next video will be me demoing this bad boy. I'm going to go over to the studio where my band practices and uh, play in my good rig and uh, take her through the paces. So stay tuned for part three of the demo and I'll talk a little bit about these pickups after I've played them for a little while and talk about the wiring harness. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Please hit subscribe.